Happy November 13th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. When last we played, Ivy watched as Master Laurel lashed out at Captain Flint with some kind of magic blast. Master Laurel is apparently a traitor of Crown Spire in league with King Rathex from the beginning. Ivy raised her voice at Master Laurel, which has given him enough pause that the calendar told us we get a plus two to all defense rolls in what is to come. That's what this is supposed to remind me of. We have also have a boon die because we rolled a 20 uh, yesterday, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Here we go. Master Laurel redirects his anger and frustration toward you, channeling formidable magical energy into tendrils that lash out, draining your strength as they strike. See special combat instructions. Uh, combat for today will operate in the following ways. Beware of Master Laurel's enfeebling magic that is draining your strength. You will make a strength roll to avoid getting weakened. 20 plus strength. Being weakened will make you inefficient at defending yourself. Um, continue the combat. Repeat until you've dealt enough damage to defeat the enemy. You'll roll. To the, uh, he does d6 if he hits us. Oh my goodness, his attack is 19. I'm glad we have the plus 2 bonus to defense. Let's see. Here's the strength thing. If your strength roll is less than the paw symbol, 13... So we need a 13 or better strength roll. You are weakened. Reroll your defense. Take the new result only if it's less than your first defense. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, we need to beat his defense of 18. Ivy rolls a 3. Plus 8 attack is 11. That is not going to hit. Um, we could stack a bunch of Radiant Blasts and... Try to use Enid and whatnot. I think we're just going to... I think we'll whiff that round. So now we do our strength roll. 16. Uh, we are not weak in this round. And now we want to defend against his attack of 19. Ivy has a natural plus 11. Plus this boon die. I'm going to put that here. So she's got plus 13 to this roll. So she only needs a 6 or better. And she gets it. So she defends, no damage. That's round one. Nobody hurt anybody. Round two, attack, beat his defense of 18, and we do. We get 14 plus 8, so we hit him. Ivy now does 3d8 damage plus 3. Oh, and we have our boon die. I have to try to remember that. <laughs> um, where can I put this? So I remember, I'm going to put it right here. 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 3 is 12. So, uh, let's see. Oh my goodness, he has 60 health. Minus 12 is uh, 48. So 60, 48. Do we want to use any of our abilities? I think we'll, I think we'll save them for now. But just as a reminder, we've got... Royal Might, twice per page we can, uh, twice per, uh, yeah, twice per page, reroll strength, take the new result. We've got Healing Light, three times per rest we can restore our health. Vanguard helps us activate our party and pets abilities, and we have Surges that we can apply to defense or damage or, or, or attack. Okay. And we have this Boon Die. We've got all kinds of stuff going for us. The trick is remembering. So uh, that was our attack. He's down to 48. Now we're going to roll our defense. Oh, no. Strength is our strength roll. We are not weakened. And now we'll roll our defense. 13 plus 13 is 26. We are not hit. Round three. Trying to hit him. 15 plus attack of 8 is 23. We beat his defense of 18. We're going to do 3d8. Sorry, that was loud. 3d8 plus 3 damage. And we get 8, 9, 10 plus 3 is 13. So he's down to 35. Now we do our strength roll. 
two. Okay, we are going to spend a royal might to re-roll that one. Uh, Ivy re-rolls her strength roll. Nine plus four is 13. Uh, what do we need? 13. So we're not weakened. Okay, now we want to defend. We get a 13 plus 13 again is 26, so we're not hit. And I think this is round four now. So we attack three. We do not hit him. Um, now, are we weakened by his death ray? Nope. Can we with can we defend? 15 plus 13, we easily defend and no exchanges that round. I think we're on round five. Uh, this is our attack roll. Five plus eight is 13. Can we get five more points? Mm, that's going to be tough. We have Enid who could help us. Mm, and we have some surges and whatnot. We might as well. Let's see if Enid... Oh, and we have our boon die. Which I think is a D4. We need five more points. Where's my marker? It's pretty far. I guess it's worth it. Here we go. So, Enid. Uh, she can get us one or two on our attack, perhaps. And we get to draw two cards because of our Vanguard ability. If I can find Enid. Here we go. Enid can get us <laughs> a plus one attack. Um, this will help a little. Uh, let's see. We need a spade greater than or equal to seven. We get to draw two cards uh, if, so if that one fails, which it does. So we'll try again, and we don't get it either time. And that's Enid for this page. So five points. Um, back to Ivy somewhere. It should be towards the back now. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use our boom die. That uh, adds a D4 and 1. Okay, so we need 4 more points. And we have, what's our attack? Um, Radiant Blast. Uh, each surge adds a D4. So how many surges will it take? <laughs> okay, that's the first surge. We got 1. We need 3 more points. Second surge, 4. There we go. So we use 2 surges of Radiant Blast. And we hit him. Okay. And we used our boon die, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, damage. 3d8. Plus 3. And we get... Oh, jeez. That's a really lousy roll. 6 plus 3 is 9. That takes him down to 26. And now we want to defend against his attack. His attack roll is 19. Oh, that's our strength roll, actually. 13, so we're not weakened. And now our defense roll, 10, plus 13, 23, we defend. Okay, next round. Uh, Got to beat his defense of 18. We got a 2. That's not going to do it. Are we weakened? No. 10 plus 4 is 14. We beat it. Um, do we defend? We get a 4 plus 13 is 17. We need two more points to defend, and I think we can. Uh, we've got Luminous Shield, and I think that's it. So, should we spend a surge on this or just take a hit? He only does d6 damage. I think we'll save our surge. 13 plus 4 is 17. Oh, we're pretty close. We're so close. Let's use it. So we'll use our... We get a 4 on our Luminous Shield. So we do defend and we take no damage. All right. Next round. Can we hit his defense of 18? We can. 17 plus 8 is plenty. How much damage do we do? That's a good roll, please. So, here we go. 11 plus 2 is 13, plus 3 is 16 damage. And that uh, brings him down to 10 health. One more hit, I think, and he's done. But he gets to attack us first. Are we weakened? Oh, we might be. Two. Yeah, I think we're weakened. Unless we re we can re-roll. We, <laughs> we have another royal might left. So we'll re-roll that, and we get it. 
Okay, we're out of Royal Knights. Um, but we do defend, and we take... No, oh wait, was that a strength roll? That was the strength roll. Yeah, so now we have to actually defend. 13 plus 13, we do defend. Take no damage. All right, hopefully the last round. Can we beat his defense of 18? 6 uh, plus 8 is um, 14. We need 4 more attack points. We have 2 surges left. Do we try it? I think we do. Because I think I'd like to end this fight. <laughs> so uh, we're going to we're gonna spend a... What's our attack? Radiant Blast. We're hoping for a 4. We get it. We get a 4. And we only use one, we have one more surge left if we need it. So we hit him. And we're hoping for 10 or more damage. Here we go. We get it. 12 plus 3 is 13, and that is Master Laurel defeated. And Ivy took zero damage. That's pretty impressive. Uh, once you defeat the enemy, Master Laurel collapses to the ground, completely drained of energy. Collect 3d6 amber for defeating Master Laurel. 1, 2, 3d6. Make some space here. And what do we get? 9, 10, 11 amber. So we're up to 94. Okay. Well, I do not know what the repercussions of this will be. But that, my friends, is November 13th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.